So the next part of the discussion is that is chemical properties of metals and non-metals. Chemical properties properties of metals and and non metals chemical properties of metals and non metals so if you take if you take metals for examples here uh, in the first case metals when they are treated with oxygen they form metal oxides metal oxides and these metal oxides in turn when they are treated with water they give bases example you can take plenty of examples example you can take sodium solid plus oxygen gas gives rise to sodium oxide solid sodium oxide solid this is a metal and uh, this is metal oxide it's a metal oxide take this metal oxide in a 2o solid and you take it dissolve it in water it forms sodium hydroxide that is aqueous it's an alkali or a base it's an alkali or a base this is metal oxide balance the equation there are two sodiums here so take two over here the reaction is balanced here we have two sodiums here we have uh, two oxygens here we have one oxygen take two here and take four here and this is how you can do this is first example second you can take second example you can take second magnesium is a solid when it is treated with oxygen gas it forms magnesium oxide it is a metal oxide solid take this magnesium oxide magnesium oxide uh, when treated with water that is liquid is a solid it forms magnesium hydroxide again it's an alkali it's a base balance the equation i think the reaction is already balanced but here we have two oxygens and take two over here likewise uh, if you go for this is reaction of metals uh, you can take any damn number of examples one more example i would like to give you for metals you can sometimes you can take even d block metals like uh, copper solid when treated with oxygen gas it forms uh, it can form cupric oxide solid cupric oxide solid balance the equation take two over here and take two over here again you take cupric oxide solid dissolve it in water that is liquid it forms cupric hydroxide that is this is these are bases sometimes what is happening is sometimes there are few elements where they behave as both uh, some oxides they can be called as amphoteric oxides the amphoteric oxides we are going to discuss in the next part of the discussion metals metal oxides and they are giving bases this is one part of the category so if you go for the second part if you go to the second part of the discussion that is non metals non metals when they are treated with oxygen they form uh, non metal oxides non metal oxides these non metal oxides when they are treated with water they form acids so i mean to say all non metal oxides are all non metal oxides they are acidic all non metal oxides they are acidic and all metal oxides they are basic this is the basic information which you have to keep it in your mind so suppose for example i am giving you one simple example you can take here s plus o2 gives a sulfur is a non metal so sulfur solid oxygen is a gas so it gives sulfur dioxide gas sulfur dioxide gas in turn again when it is treated with the sulfur dioxide gas when treated with further amount of oxygen it gives sulfur dioxide gas sulfur dioxide gas balance the equation take two over here and take two over here the reaction is balanced now take the sulfur dioxide take the sulfur dioxide gas and you dissolve it in non metal oxide dissolve it in water as a liquid it gives you that is h2 so4 aqueous 
H2SO4 aqueous. So that means this is a non-metal oxide. It's a non-metal oxide and uh, this is going to be the acid, oxy acid. This is non-metal, this is non-metal, sulfur is a non-metal and sulfur dioxide is the non-metal oxide, non-metal oxide. So in this way we can prepare both acids as well as bases. Some more examples I would like to give you. So this is the first example in non-metals reacting with the oxygen to give non-metal oxides and these non-metal oxides give acids. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.